congratulations, that might be one of the single worst plays in the history of Blackjack. He hit 21 on eight cards. You know the odds of that happening? You split queens and went all in. A baboon knows to stay on 20, Jackie. Mick, I'm on no sleep. And I'm in the red right now, okay? Oh, so you're in the red. Is that right? Is that right? You're in the red. All right, you know what? You need to ease Listen, up, Mick. Jackie, I'm so sick of this shit. Jesus fucking... What is your fucking problem, man? Why did you do that? You know Mom gave this to me for good luck? Well, guess what? It didn't work. Look at this position we're in. Look at this position we are in. This clusterfuck of a situation is because of you, Jackie. You're a curse. You're a bad fucking omen, and all the four-leaf clovers in the world are not going to save our ass. Is that right? Yeah, you must have got hit on the head one too many times, because if I remember correctly, it was your idea to go to Tony in the first place. You are fucking delusional. You are full of shit up to your fucking ears. Okay? No, you blew his money. We were in the clear, and you fucking blew it, buddy. You fucking blew it. You need to relax. Don't tell me to fucking relax. Can you comprehend in this piece what out, that me. means? Cut can it you? out, man. Can you? Huh? Do you understand who the fuck we're going to be paying rent to at best now? Almost a hundred years this bar has been in our family. A hundred fucking years, Jackie. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure something out. No, there's nothing to figure out. It's done. It's over. Over. I caught a bad beat, all right? I caught a bad beat. Fuck. You know what? I catch a bad beat my entire life because of you. I'm so sick of cleaning up after your fucking mess all the time. I'm done. I'm fucking through. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know That's I mean? right. I think I need to put you down for a nap. Oh, is that what you're threatening me? Huh? You threatening me? Fucking threatening me. Come here. That's it. You're going to sleep through. You're going to sleep through. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're going to sleep. Yeah. You're going to sleep. Yeah. 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 I swear I'm going to put you down. Yeah, I wish you weren't to sleep. I wish you weren't, so I wouldn't have to be stuck with you anymore in my life. Would you kill me? Yeah, I'm so sick of fucking me. Hey, fuckos. When you're done humping each other, we'll go see the old man. <laughs> Let's go. Up and at him. Larry, watch the bar. That's how you get smoke on my car? Put that thing out. Put that fucking thing out. Alright! Oh, what are you, a fucking animal? What's your problem? I'm gonna throw it in the glove box. Where was I supposed to put it? Stick it up, your fucking stupid asshole. My daughter's gotta grow up in this fucking world, Frankie. What the fuck? Have a little respect for the environment. We're saving our whales now, okay. You know what your problem is? You got no fucking class. You know, am I right or am I right back there? Yeah, Jack and Jill, I'm talking to you. You two are awfully fucking quiet back there. No snappy remarks, no jokes. Where are those big fucking mouths now? I'm curious. Hey, Mick, I got a question for you. What if I told you I had a way for you to make 50 dimes? Get you out of this mess right now. Would you take it? Depends. <laughs> He's fucking got it. He's fucking with He's got options. You know? <laughs> like, what would I have to do? Oh, it's nothing too crazy. You just did. Nothing too crazy at all. You just have to screw a pig. <laughs> I can't see that. You know, you're a sick fuck, you know that, Frankie? Yes, sir. You're really a sick fucking demented fuck. What's her name? Come again? The pig? What's her name? Marsha. It's Marsha. No, you fucking jack off. The animal. You know, like the one you find on a farm? Fucking E-I-E-I-O? It's the 50 grand tax free. Let's assume that it is. Here's what I would do. I'd put a gun to Jackie here's head. I'd make him hump the pig. I'd collect the 50 large. And then I'd put two in his noggin. You'd whack me? Yeah, put you out of your misery. Why am I in misery? Because you just humped a pig. How could you live with yourself? <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> well, you know, don't get too attached.
Ripley, Fritzy, what the fuck? I speak fucking Japanese. Open that shit. Gus, Gus, fuck it. What are, what are I, how many times do we gotta have this conversation about cigarette smoking? Put that shit out. Don't blow that shit in my face. Don't blow it up. What I tell you about all the smoke? You need to fucking regulate this shit. Are you serious? Am I serious? How many fucking... I told you my father would like to smoke. I don't like it, dummy. You know, it's just fucking too much. Use your head. I want to talk to you about the thing I want to talk to you. I gotta go to the kid. Hold on, I'm a raise No, I gotta go to the kid. I come every time I got a hand. You gotta go drop a deuce. Fucking dairy intolerance. I gotta go to the kid. Stop inhaling boots. How about that? Get a shit ball. Fuck you. You want five dimes on the old? Yeah. I know you go from where you're gonna go. You gotta stay here and protect and serve, right? I gotta go. Well, look who's here. My two favorite big brothers. It's a shame about your bar. It breaks my heart. Where's my money? Tony. Tony. Hey, Mr. Fucking Devon. Some fucking respect, you fuck. What? You got something? You got something? You got something on your mind? You got something you want to say? No, go ahead. Fucking say it. Say it. Go ahead. Say it. Okay. No? Okay. You turn your little fucking bitch ass around. Okay. Mr. Navalo. Navalo. Mr. Navalo. Mr. Navalo. With all due respect, we just want to express our sincerest gratitude for giving us the loan again. We're very thankful. You know, because no bank would even touch us. Hey, wait a minute. Let me, let me get this straight. You use my money as your last resort? No, no, no. That's not what I meant at all. I, I, I just figured there'd be less risk involved. What? I, that there would be less risk involved with the interest rate. I, not you. <laughs> the, the, the interest you know, it's a good thing I'm in a good mood because my wife just brought me my favorite sandwich. You should learn how to keep your mouth shut. You'll live longer. You should listen to what my father said. Let the smart one talk. You know, I gotta be honest. I never stepped a foot in your bar. I can never get used to the smell of potatoes and piss. But your father, I liked him. He was a stand-up guy. It baffles me how you came from the same sack. But you, you always had respect. You kept your head down. You were a good boy. Thank you. But my time is very important. So let's get to it. Okay, well, that's what we wanted to discuss with you. Discuss? <laughs> is this a discussion? I, I, didn't, mean, I didn't mean like that. I, I just I've always been patient with you too, right? Yes, you have, absolutely. When you wanted an extension, I gave it to you, correct? Yes, you did. Absolutely, yes, you did. I never raised the vig, did I? No, you did not. Then how come I don't have my money? Okay, Mr. Navarro, just give us a few weeks and we will get your money. I promise. Now, how's that going to happen? When you two broken down valises can't rub two cords together. I want my money. We will find a way. We can go to the bank. No, Jack, you shouldn't fuck up. Not good enough. Not good enough. The way I see it right now, you got three options. Option number one, you can miraculously pull the money that you owe me, plus the vig, out of your ass in the next 10 seconds, but that's not going to happen. Option number two, I can give you a less painful way to pay me back the money you owe me. You go with my boy Joey here on a simple house call. Okay? I'd love to hear the third option. Whatever it is, we'll do it, okay, Mr. Duvall? We'll do it. Good. You go with Joey. He's going to pay a visit to some guy. A deadbeat guy who's been late on his payments. Does that sound familiar to you? I think he put me on the pay me no mind list. Too many people start hearing that. They're going to start thinking that I'm soft and they can take advantage of me. They'll treat me like a jerk off. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pay this guy a little visit and we're going to settle it once and for all. You follow Joey's lead 
and you watch his back. And most important, you, you keep your mouth shut. Understood? Understood. Whoa, 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 hey, Christ. Calm down, sweetie pie. We'll get your panties on a bunch. Yeah, what do we need these for? To play tennis with, you fucking jerk. <laughs> what the fuck do you think they're for? Okay, 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 wait. With all due respect, you know us our whole lives. Okay, we don't want trouble. We don't want trouble like this. This is not trouble. It's not trouble. This is just for show. It's for a little intimidation. Just for show. Nobody's going to get hurt. Come on. I give you my word. And my word's garbage.
shoot this piece of shit. Please, please don't Just do this. Shut the fucking mouth! Joey. Joey. I'm gonna put your fucking ear off. Listen to me, man. We kill him. Your old man's never gonna get his money, right? Are you fucking deaf? There is no money. He's fucking in debt all over town. Come on, right shoot. here. Right here, right between his stupid fucking eyes. Shoot him. Come on, shoot him, Joey. Shoot him. Joey, come on. This wasn't part of the deal. Yeah. Part of the deal? What, 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 what fucking planet do you two live on? This is the only deal if you want to wipe your deck clean. Now take your fucking guns out. Take them out! Please, for the love of God, please! Shut your fucking mouth! Shoot this piece of shit. Yes, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Pop wanted you both to give him a slug. Come on, do it. Now do it. Do it. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Shoot him. Come on, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot this fucking piece of shit. Do no. it! No! We're not killing him. Okay? We're not killing him. You sure about that? Jackie, put the gun down. We can make things right, Jackie. Jackie? Hey. Hey. Put the gun down. We'll get the money from somewhere else, Jackie. There is nowhere else, Mickey. It's the only way to set us straight with Tony. Jackie, we don't have to do this. Put the gun down. Come on, what do you want to be? A fucking pussy your whole life? This isn't us, Jackie. Put the gun down, Jackie. You can put it into all this. Fucking gun down. End this! End it! Uh, fucking shoot him. Shoot him. Come on! Fucking end this, man! No! No, fuck. Uh, Mickey's right. Fuck. We're gonna find another way. There is no other fucking way. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. You get a fucking hold of yourself. Act like you fucking own a pair. <laughs> oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Shit. What? What the fuck? No! Why don't you just... No, you were the fucking fire 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 shoot the kid! What the fuck? Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Shit, 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 shit! Shit, just killed Joe Oh, shit! Shit! Oh, shit! Oh, Mary, Mother God, no! This is all your fault! Don't this is what happened! Shut up! Take it easy! Take it easy. We didn't shoot your father! Take it easy! We didn't shoot your father! Take it easy! Whoa, 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 whoa! Go with a gun, sweetheart! Do not call me sweetheart! I am not your sweetheart! Uh, okay, okay. What do you want us to call you? Huh? Why do you want to know my name? So we can call you something other than sweetheart, right? And you and you stop pointing the gun at us. It's Clover. Okay, Clover. That's a pretty name. We 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 didn't shoot your father. That was that guy, Joey. Uh, listen to me. Your father was a deadbeat. Okay, so don't blame any of this on us. Jackie, right? will you please shut up? What? Clover, don't listen to my brother. He especially don't know what he's saying half the time. Oh, cute, Mick. Clover. Tony Duvalo. Tony Duvalo. Does that name ring a bell to you? Okay. He's an evil man, and we owe money to him just like your father did. So you're deadbeats too? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. yourself. Jackie, will you please shut up? <laughs> Clover, they forced us to come here. If we didn't do what they said, they were going to hurt us too. Well, I don't believe you. What do you want us to say? Huh? What do you want me to say? You want me to call the cops? We can call the cops right now. You want your freaking skull? We'll be dead before we get to the freaking precinct. Joey. Come on, where you at? Who is that? Who else is here? Is your mother here? She's dead. She, 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 what? Joy. Joey. Joey, it's Dom. I'm supposed to pick up three packages. Come on, where you at? The old man wants this done yesterday. What the fuck you doing? Are you trying to get yourself killed? No. The door was busted open. Where's Joey? I don't know where Joey is. Well, you're supposed to be here with them. The old lady was having a false alarm. What do you want from me? We can make yourself useful. Let's find him. Find him, Frankie. Knock that all day. It's Tom. And you know what Tom does? He cleans up the mess. Where the mess? It's freaking empty. You lying, crazy, backstabbing motherfuckers! Watch your language. She just shot someone. 
positive. Nobody saw us. Relax. You want me to fucking relax? I am far from relaxed. The last thing I need is Tony DiVallo peeping up my skirt. I've never seen you wear a skirt. Say one more word. I'm going to slap every tooth out your mouth. I mean, what the hell were y'all thinking? You know better than going to see those animals. Actually, that's an insult to animals. They're more like pasta eating fucking maggots. I, uh, I know. You messed up. Jackie, why wouldn't y'all just come to me? I'm family. It was too much, Pat. I didn't think we could. <sighs> we'll never know now. Are you sure he's dead? I've seen his brains all over the fucking ground. He's dead. Not that I will lose any sleep over it. That kid was a first-class prick. You know what? That old man's not gonna rest. He's not going to sleep until he knows that you are six feet under, and I'll be laying right next to you if he thinks I helped you. We didn't kill Joe. It's all the same now. You gonna wish you had.
She still pissed at you? She still pissed at you? I don't know. I don't know why she would. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Oh, I know why she would.
Well, she's to me, okay? That's a pretty harsh thing to say, kid. No. It's not. She left me at a park when I was nine years old. Said she'd be right back, but she never came back. Well, maybe something happened to her. You don't, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, like she didn't want to be a mom anymore. That's what happened. Oh, come on. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think a mother would leave her child at a park. You know? She called my dad about a month later, said she wasn't coming home, okay? She said she wasn't fit to raise a child. Said it didn't feel natural. Whatever that means. It's a bad beat. I'm sorry. I'm not. I hate her. And I hate what she did to my dad. He was never the same after that. You know... It wasn't his fault. What was it? The money he borrowed wasn't for him. Hey, kid. Don't do that to yourself. Don't carry that kind of guilt around. It's too late. Hey. We're gonna get you somewhere safe. Okay? I promise. We're not gonna let anybody hurt you. Try to get some rest, okay? Fucking animals. Shot my boy in the face. Degenerate mech fucks. Boss. Over on Linwood, there's Renata's funeral home. Okay, and and then when 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 Jimmy Dewey's got his head blown off by the by the Bascom brothers, they made him look like a prince. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, they can do miracles over there. Right? The, 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 the miracles, yeah. My boy's got a bullet in his fucking forehead. His brains are in a fucking jar. What kind of miracles are they gonna do for him, huh? Are they gonna bring him back to life? Uh, no, I don't. I don't know. No. <laughs> you know what? I got a better idea. Why don't we replace the part of his skull that's missing with this part right here? Tom, put him in a chair. Shut up. Oh, you were right. supposed to back up Joey tonight, but you didn't, did you? Boss, I'm sorry. What, do you, what the fuck do you want from me? I called Joey. I, I, my, my wife was in labor. He said he could fucking handle it. Does this look handled to you? No, but, but I, I fucked up. I'm sorry. Huh? No, there's already look fucking handled. No, all right. What do you want me to do? It's my a fucking baby last night. Tell him, please, Pete. Pete, you in there? Fucking say something. Please, fucking dumb. Say something, okay? Please, Dom, I'm married to your cousin, for Christ's sake, say something! My cousin doesn't even like you, Frank. Dom, what are you talking, Petey, just fucking tell him what the fuck- Shut your mouth! Because of you, I have to go home tonight and tell my wife that her firstborn is going to be buried in a closed casket. Because of you, I got to tell my son's baby girl that she'll never have a birthday with her father again. And because of you, the Devalo name, this name that's been around since the fall of Rome, dies with me. I'm begging you, tell me, please, Jesus Christ, I'm begging you. I'm about to be a father, please. Not anymore, you will. Tony, please, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shit, you. 
you two. I mean, you guys are unbelievable. You never cease to amaze me. If our dads knew what you two did to the bar, they would be doing backflips in their fucking graves right oh, now. Spare me the bullshit. Bullshit? Yeah, you're the one who wanted to be a cop. You didn't want anything to do with the bar. <laughs> you wonder why? Oh, is that right, Steve? Yeah. Okay, because if I remember, you didn't have the fondest memories, right? I mean, didn't happy hour consist of your old man using your face as a punching bag? Jackie. And I mean, what was, what was the nickname his old man used to call him? Uh, Ashtray. That's right. That's right. It was Ashtray, right? Yeah. And you still got the scars on your hand there, huh? Don't you? Yeah, still do. See him? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Just don't forget to look after you, huh? I get it. Enough said. Alright. Can we move on? What are we gonna do? I don't know. This is like a catastrophic pile of shit just dropped in my lap. Where's the girl now? She's in my bedroom, sleeping. <laughs> and she killed Joey? <laughs> Fuck. All right. Here we go. You two stay here. Wait for my call. And how long is that going to be? Oh, jeez, Angel. I'm not sure, you know, because I, I mean, I got to cover up a homicide and put a big shit stain on my career, so I'm not so good with the timing right now. I haven't seen you in a year, and within an hour, you've managed to fuck up my life. Oh, is that right? Because I think you were enjoying yourself just about an hour ago, weren't you? All right, you two, start praying. So if I get you out of here with your head still attached to your neck, all right? You know, I gotta tell you, I never hired guys like you two. I mean, no disrespect, you come very highly recommended. I usually don't outsource this kind of work. You know, I usually like to keep it in-house. But since I am surrounded by a bunch of incompetent fucks, I got no choice. You guys have kids? Dom lost this kid a few years ago. He said he didn't smile for five years. They say the worst thing in the world is for a parent to lose a child. One minute they're uh, little babies in your arms, the next minute they're laying in some funeral parlor shot in the face. So you can see why I am incapable of any rational thinking right now. That's why I want this done in the most painful, violent way fucking possible. It will be handled clean no trace back to you. You could be a little messy. Take it easy, ladies. We're all playing for the same team, right? Let him out, Pete. Why we're leaving right now. We're leaving because people are trying to kill you, and that is not happening in my home. Well, can I at least take a leak? Jackie, listen to what she said, put your shoe on, and let's go. Now! Lower your voice, Mick, before I give you a whack. All knuckles, all right? What are you wearing then? Because I don't have a jacket, or a home, or anything else because of you. Well, you look ridiculous. Hey, where the hell are you? I'm 
at your front door. We just left. Why would you leave? Because we didn't feel safe, Stevie. All right, Ange, so then where am I meeting you guys? Remember the Kelly Dwyer incident? Buses and taxi cabs? <laughs> yeah. When? Uh, we're, we're almost there. All right. Who's Kelly Dwyer? She's none of your business. That's who she is. Hey, take it easy. What? So how well do you trust this guy, Stevie? We trust him with our lives. It's like our brother, okay? Why? You got something on your mind? I just like to know what I'm walking into. You're walking into an abandoned train station. That's what you're walking into. Yeah. Are you familiar with the building? Do you know how many exits there are? What? What are you What are you talking about? What kid talks like this? A kid who doesn't want to be backed into a corner with no way out. That's who. Hey, she kind of has a point, Jack. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. You and Angie stay in the car. End of story. I will. But not because you said to. Because I want to. It's safer. End of story. When people say they don't like kids, but they really like kids. Stop. I Jackie. really don't fucking like kids. So what do you think? Call or what? Mm. I say wood. It's cheaper. It's almost half the cost. But the coal oven could get an extra two to three hundred degrees hotter, which could come in handy if we get in a spot. I mean, you and I both know bones burn better in a coal oven. That's why I love you. You're always thinking ahead. But honestly, with those high temperatures, I think we're fine either way. Fine. Let's just go with the wood. Oh. Are we pouting now? No, you're right. The wood is a smart play. What's ETA? 1400. Does this feel right? We make the right decision here? What do you mean? How long do we let this go on? To the end. We're in control. You want me to clean Shirley? I was just thinking. I actually prefer the taste of the coal over the wood. Now, you're just saying that. No. It's more old school. That's what I'm talking about. What are we <laughs> making? Pizzas and roasted marshmallows. Perfect. It's settled then. Mickey and Jackie are risking their lives for you. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. Clover, if it weren't for them, you'd be dead already. You know, maybe I have my own issues with Jackie, and yes, sometimes I want to strangle him, trust me. But 
He really is a good guy, okay? They both are. As solid as they come. And I'm really sorry that your father got killed. I am. A kid should never have to see that happen to a parent, ever. But Mickey and Jackie were in the wrong place at the wrong time. They would never hurt anyone like that, Clover. Ever. Not, not that way. Yeah, I know. It's their biggest flaw and what's going to end up getting them killed. And personally, I don't want to be caught in the crossfire. Is that Stevie? There? Oh, and, uh, who's that? His backup? Oh, my God. Shit, 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 shit. You still trust Stevie? Look at this jerk off. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Steve, you better not hang us out to dry. He always folded under pressure when we were kids. Well, he said he'll be here, he'll be here. You're the last person Stevie would give a gun to, let alone anybody else. Oh, look who's got a sense of humor back. Yeah, well, that's about all I got.
I talked to Tony. He knows you to pull the trigger. Come on. You guys are in the clear. Come on. All you gotta do is give up the girl. Don't make it worse on yourself. Make the right choice for once in your fucking lives. What do you mean worse, Stevie? I thought you said we're in the clear if we give up the girl. Where's Jackie? Who? Don't fuck with me, Mickey. I said, where's Jackie? I'm right here, you motherfucker. <laughs>
gonna do with her? I don't know. Just leave her body in the car until someone finds her. How you doing? You okay? Okay? No. I'm not okay. I mean, she's... She's dead, Mick. And I did this. Okay, listen. Don't do that, okay? This is not your fault. She wouldn't have been with us, Mick. And she wouldn't be sitting in the car with her brains all over the back seat. Hey. What are you? Listen. Angie knew what she was getting herself into. She was well aware of the risk, and she still helped us out anyway. Angie was loyal. You finished? If there's any consolation, at least you got to reconnect with her again, you know? Relight the flame. You always have that. Yeah, no, that doesn't make me feel better. Jackie. I thought that was sweet of you. We should torch the car with Angie's body inside. We need to get rid of the prince. You got an interesting way of words, you know that?
Abiotic, characterized by the absence of life or living organisms. In English, Terry. The non-living. Or dead. What other types would there be? Oh, there are a plethora of different types and categories and subcategories. Hey, you Christ's sake, Terry. We, someone wants us dead, all right? Like, the real dead, so we flatline for good. Not some experiment in front of a video camera. That's quite fascinating. It's a high level of risk. Oh, extremely captivating. Okay, Terry. Yeah. We need your help to kill Tony Davalo. Then why didn't you just say that in the first place, Jackie? I'm Jackie. <laughs> for this information. 
We really uh, should begin preparation for Tony now that his men are uh, incapacitated. How long is that gas going to keep his guys out for? Uh, a fairly good amount of time. What kind of gas did you use, Terry? More or less the kind you don't wake up from. What? 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 Yeah. More or less? Yeah. More or less? Yeah. Are you Are you kidding me? If I remember correctly, you did say you wanted to kill Tony Duvalo. I said Tony Duvalo. I didn't say I wanted to be an accomplice to a mass murder, you freaking nut job. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Terry! Oh, no, no, no. I think I, I, I think I told you once. I do not appreciate that kind of verbal abuse. Terry, put the gun down. No, okay? no, 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 no. I think I warned you not to vocalize those types of poisonous notions, Terry. Terry, we're, put the gun down. We're family. You, Mickey didn't mean anything by it. He was just playing around. Right, Mick? That is right. I lost my cool, Terry. Let's put the gun down, okay? Put it down. See? He's sorry. Ah! Everything's okay. Okay, I accept your apology. Who's hungry? Pretty hungry. Oh, 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 no, 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 hold on, hold on. Tony don't even know what she looks like. He won't even know if she's alive or dead. Yeah, it's us you want, all right? We killed Tony Navarro, not her. Just let her go. Take, take us. The girl don't know nothing. I know this day will come. She don't know nothing, okay? Take us, Dr. Girl. Please, she's a kid. She doesn't know anything. She don't know nothing. Just, just, no, over here. Us.
Okay. You ready? Ready. That's our girl. You were gonna kill us all along, weren't you? You used us as bait? Follow the trees and you'll get the rats. What? What? Please don't make this harder for me than it already is. Harder for you? You do realize you got a gun pointed at our heads, right? No! Nah! Clover, what are you doing? Just close your eyes, okay? I promise you guys won't feel a thing. Well, you two take the cake in parenting. Congratulations, you successfully raised a fucking psychopath. I'm just itching to kill this one. Get down on your knees, both of you. Enough of the small talk. Screw you! Yeah, we'll take it standing. No, moms! Please stop! Then you need to finish. Sweetie, your feelings are confusing you. Okay, that's all it is. It's time. Don't listen to them, Clover. You don't have to do this. I don't have a choice. Actually, you do. I'm glad I met you both. Even you, Jackie. And I meant what I said. You guys really are my friends. Yeah, well, where I come from, you don't shoot your friends, Clover, okay? Rule number one, you don't kill your friends. Oh! After all we did for you, this is what you do? This is how you treat us? Huh? Is your name even Clover? Yeah! I was really starting to like you! Oh, fuck, this really hurts. No, moms. You're wrong. Not everyone's a mark. Sometimes you need emotional attachments. I'm not gonna hurt them. I'm not gonna hurt Mickey and Jackie. Yeah, I don't care about your rules. I won't do it. Don't kill your friends. So sweet, my love. And I get it. I understand. This is a hard lesson to learn, okay? We do need to end this now. Yeah. No, no, we don't have to kill them. She's right. We, we could just crawl out of here and nobody would ever know. Unlike you two, we have a reputation to uphold. Fuck you! Uphold this, you wackos. You gonna do it? Just go ahead and do it!
kill people for less. Jackie, uh, you woke me up, Jack. Fuck, I was getting asleep finally, Jack. I'm freezing, Nick. You shouldn't be too much longer, Jackie. Okay? Well, you've been saying that for two hours. I don't know how much blood I got left in me. Enough that he's keeping your fucking lips moving. I'm in pain, Mick. Okay, I have a little compassion for your older brother. You do realize I got shot too, right? Yeah, you, you realize that? Yeah, you just went clean through, man. Mine's stuck in my femur. They blew off my middle fucking fingers. Yeah. Better than being shot in your head. <sighs> Plus, you're the idiot that decided to taunt two hitmen. Women. Whatever the fuck they are. People. Oh. Mm -hmm. What did you say? Huh? I'm gonna go to sleep now. Huh? No, you're not. Jackie, don't fall, Jack. I'm gonna take don't a little nap. No, Jackie, don't fall asleep, Jack. Jackie, you can't fall asleep, Jackie. Jackie, don't fall asleep, Jack. Jack. Jack, no, you can't sleep, Jackie. Jackie, don't fall asleep, Jackie. Jackie! Ah! Ah! Don't ah! fall asleep! Okay, I'm awake, you fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm awake. Look at me. Hold Look at me. I'm looking at you. I love you. Oh, you're squeezing me hard. I love you, Jackie. Okay. Please look, look in my eyes. I don't want you to fucking die. Don't die. Ah, okay. How about that? Y'all motherfuckers call for a cat. Hey. Uh. <laughs> 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 I told you, Jackie. I told you. Oh, what the hell took you so long? I'm bleeding out over here, Pat. Well, I could come back when you're through if you want. How about that? <laughs> Christ, you two look like two pieces of shit on a trisket. Yeah, you just see the other ten guys. <laughs> well, what about the girl? Is she safe? <laughs> It would depend who you ask. Oh. Praise the Lord. Where'd you look at that? Okay, he's slipping. Come on, let's go. Get the fuck up. Oh. Come on, let's go. No, hold on. Come on, man. You don't have time to wait. Get dying. Look at that. What, Jackie? On the bookshelf. Is that weed? Look at that. It's a four-leaf fucking clover. Oh. Well, maybe your luck is about to change. <laughs> It's like the one I broke of mom's that she gave you. It's just like you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Jack. <laughs> hey, Jack. Oh. Maybe we can reopen the bar now. Please. Huh? That's <laughs> a great idea. <laughs> so while you two are having a sentimental moment, I just want to let you know you're in the back seat, okay? I have new Corinthian leather and you're not fucking it up. I'm so sick of you white boys. I don't know what to do with myself. Yo, and that motherfucker is not getting in. The fuck? Let's go! Okay. Oh, shit, Jackie, you know what I just remembered? What? Larry's still at the bar. One, no, two... No, 